We bring you the newest and most talked about movies that are coming to theater this week. It is weekly premiere. It is happy Jonathan Thursday. <laughs> Hi. Jackie says Thursday is Jonathan day. It's freezing cold out. I know. It's how, cold, how did you come so here? Did cold. you did you t- I took take a, a taxi cab? today? Okay. And you said you you hate winter in general. Yeah, right? I uh, as I get older and older, I think it gets colder and colder. Mm-hmm. But you used to live in California, right? Yeah, long where time, long time ago. there is no winter, right? Or anything I, close I, to I cold. I may move back. <laughs> right? Yeah, I never been to California. It's incredible. How can I it's, not be there? And like, also, Hollywood is in California. How can you not be there? Yeah, I know. Shame on me, huh? Speaking well, of Hollywood, we lost two biggest uh, movie stars. One movie star, Not one director. Not today, but I think it happened on the 6th, right? January 6th, mm-hmm. we, the Sydney Poitier mm-hmm. and uh, Peter Bognovich. Peter Bognovich. Right. Let's talk. Oh, and they passed away on the same day. I think it's kind of destiny, right? They did. And then they did a movie together. Back in the 1960s, I think right. that was uh, that was a sequel to "To Star with Love." Right. So it was supposed to be the "To Star with Love" two. It was a television drama, right. and then that was their first and last collaboration together. So let's talk about Sidney Poitier first. You know, he was the first black actor to be nominated for nominated for Academy. Did you mm-hmm. know that? Yeah, yeah. And he's won so many awards. After, and of course, right. and also he directed. Uh, Nine films, right? Almost, yeah, nine films. Mm-hmm. And uh, I actually remember seeing the Stir cra- Crazy with... Uh, oh, the comedy film, right? Yeah, Gene mm-hmm. Wilder and Richard mm-hmm. Pryor. And, and, and I remember seeing that in the theater, actually. Oh, you did? Yeah. In Korea? So that movie was released in Korea? No, not in oh, Korea. Oh, I see, I see. 1980, I, see. Mm-hmm. I was in the States. Mm-hmm. How did it do? I mean... The, the, it did really it, well. Oh, it did? Yeah. Okay. So obviously he had a talent for a filmmaker, yes. filmmaking then, right? He was born in 1927. Seven. Right, and he was actually uh, Bahamian, mm-hmm. and uh, his parents had him in Florida, so he was uh, automatically given the U.S. citizenship. Mm-hmm. So uh, actually he, he went back to, as a baby, he went back to Bahama and mm-hmm. grew up until 15, mm-hmm. then he came to the United mm-hmm. States. Mm-hmm and started uh, mm-hmm. acting mm-hmm. and uh, he he won so many awards it's, right. uh, it's, it's, I don't think we have enough time to mention all that right. but uh, one of the uh, prominent ac- uh, award is he he won uh, Screen Actors Guild Lifetime Achievement Award mm-hmm. in 2000 and mm-hmm. he actually the biggest award he won is the Presiden- Presidential Medal of Freedom that's the By highest Obama or Obama, yes, okay. and that's the highest uh, honor mm-hmm. a civilian could have. You know, actually, he's not an actor from my generation. More likely from my mother's generation. And I remember she used to talk about this film, 초대받지 않은 손님. Right. Guess who's coming to dinner? I think that's right. one of the most, I don't know, renowned films by mm. Sydney Poitier, especially in Korea. Right, and to serve with love. Oh, right, 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 right. What well, was the Korean title for that? Saram. Yeah. Oh, so we talked about this. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> yeah, right, 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 right. I mean, I think it's. I mean, it's not even the translation because it's completely different. Right. It, it means uh, mind is always. It's very sun. poetic. Yeah. I mean, I always wanted to ask you who names, you know, such titles. Importers. Oh, importers. Yeah. So that's that's pretty good job, right? Yeah, that was good. Yeah. Did you see it in Korea? This film? No. Okay. I think I was too young. It was like 67. That means I was uh, just in elementary school. Also, you were in the States then? No, I was in, in Korea. But, oh, right, uh, right, right. I, I don't right. think I could have gone to the movie at the time. This maybe, movie was... Maybe I did with my mother because my yeah, mother right. used to love movies and used to take me all the time. But right. I don't recall seeing it, but I do remember seeing the movie somewhere. Mm-hmm. And this movie was huge in Korea. And maybe big, that's yeah. the one that Sidney Poitier made famous in Korea. Yes, definitely. Mm-hmm. And uh, 
you know, Korean uh, distributors used to dis- discri- discriminate uh, uh, black actors, mm-hmm. but he wasn't really considered a black actor because mm-hmm. every movie that he was in was a hit. Because he has this particular image, you know? Right. He doesn't look like, um, he, he, I don't know, I mean, I don't know how to put it, but he has this very elegant and classy image to him. Right. He, which is not really usual did, at his, that time. His eyes, you know, mm-hmm. he's got the certain, you know, the look in, the, in his eyes. You know, did you know he was also an ambassador to Japan for oh, I didn't know. He was for an what? ambassador to Japan from... For a Baham- Bahamian ambassador. Uh huh. Ah, I see. To Japan. So for, that's why he has this title diploma. Diplom- diploma. Diplomat. Yeah, diplomat. So I thought, you know, where, where this came from. Yeah. Huh. That's how it happened. Okay. Japanese loved him too, so. All right. I guess that was a good move by Bahama. Right. And, you know, his movie, Guess Who's Coming to Dinner, I think it's one of the first that presented interracial marriage. I mean, in a favor, uh, favorable view. Right. Which is a- actually, this uh, Korean-American uh, female director in, in, in the United States trying to make a movie called Guess Who's Coming for Dinner. Who's, guess Who's Coming for Kimchi. What, was it, what does that mean? Because she actually had a, a black boyfriend. Ah. And this is actually based on her actual experience where I see. when first time he came to the house, he, her mother... Fainted <laughs> and cried for two weeks. Like literally, yeah, literally. So, <laughs> so she she titled it after this movie called "Guess Who's Coming for Kimchi." So is it Gina Kim? No, no, By no somebody chance? else. Okay, and that didn't happen, I, right? I think she didn't make the film yet. Okay, that it's an interesting concept, though. Yeah, it's, a, it's actually a very good concept. Yeah, it is. Yeah. And another person, Peter Vognadovich. I mostly know him as a film historian. He used to do this right, right. program on uh, I forgot the, the name of the channel, but it's uh, it's it's for classic channel for classic movies. But he was on the program every week and talked right. about classic he did films. Documentaries such as directed by John Ford, mm-hmm. The Great Buster, mm-hmm. A Celebration, and interviews with. And friends. we have this great movie, The Last Picture Show, directed mm. by Peter Vognadovich. Is that one uh, like uh, nominated for Academy for eight different categories? I think is that yeah. is that is that what it is? Yeah, right. And um, I don't know. He was he was also a film critic. I think he was also he used a film to critic, write yeah. for many magazines and stuff. Right. So right. Too bad. You know. You know what? You're getting old when all your you know people that you looked up mm-hmm. to start. Passing away. Mm-hmm. So I mean, you know, sad. I feel kind of bad because we've been doing this for two weeks in a row. We, we lost stars. We're getting old. Yeah. <laughs> but we have this good news. Uh, Squid Game was nominate, has been nominated for four categories by SAG, Screen, Screen Actors Guild. Of America. Yeah, actually. news came in yesterday. And I'm, I'm very excited. And that's the first uh, foreign language film and a Korean film foreign language series and a Korean series to be nominated right. nominated yeah, for true, this true. award. And then that gives me um feeling uh, good feelings about Emmy Awards too. I hope they win something. Yeah. Congratulations, Hwang Dong Kam and in, all the cast in members. In the meantime, Oh Young Soo, yeah. the player number one, yeah, we, has we... won Golden Globe for the best performance by a supporting actor in the series. Right. We talked about it yesterday. Congratulations again, Oh Young Soo yeah. Nim. Right. He made a great comment after winning the award. Did I you, didn't know. You know what he said? No. He said to he said I can finally ac- call, tell call myself. myself I'm a decent man. Right, 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 right. Yeah, I saw it. I saw it yeah. on his Facebook or something. And he's uh, you know, he, he's actually in a stage play right now. Yeah. The last session. Mm-hmm. It's being sold out every day now. Oh, really? Yeah, it's number one stage play in Korea right. at the moment. Yeah, no doubt. I now I have to check it right. out then. And uh, I'm just little little note. He he was in a movie. He he's not in a very many movies. But right. He was in Kim Gi Duk's Spring, Summer, Autumn, Winter. Yeah, and as spring. a monk. Old right? monk. Yeah. Yeah. Right. 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 That, I think that was my first time seeing him yeah. in movies. Download the Arirang Radio app on your device for free. It's Arirang. A R I R A N G Radio. We have two movies, one Korean, one Hollywood production. And why don't we start with Korean film? 
Yes. Uh, I don't know which is the correct title, but uh, some say special delivery mm -hmm. and some say special cargo. Oh, special delivery sounds about more appropriate, but, I think. But when you look at, the, when you watch the movie, uh, she has to actually deliver a, a child. So right, 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 right. Special right. cargo might be a better mm -hmm. title. Okay. And this movie is featured by another Ki Seng Chung Parasite cast member. Park So Dam. Right. Park So Dam, I mean, it was kind of heartbreaking when I listened to, you know, what happened to her. She has this Kap Sang So Nam. Yeah, well. Recently, they found out. Prostate. Yeah, right. But I hope it goes well. I mean, because she's young, right? Well, it's, she can, it, you know, get over it. That cancer is not that critical. Oh, I see. Others. But they, she still has to go through surgery, right? I think so. Yeah. Right, right, right. And this is her first movie since Parasite, I think. It is uh, mm -hmm. being released. And right. She did a great job, I think. And yeah. I, I, I think she, nobody else could have done this role, I think, mm -hmm. besides her. Because like, she's so cool. Mm -hmm. You know, very similar to the character from Parasite, I think, in a way. Ah, I see. Right. So she, she's a con man? <laughs> no, 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 no. She's a delivery driver. <laughs> right. 100% the success rate. Uh-huh. And uh, she's given a... And uh, they do illegal stuff, right? So it's kind of like transport. I mean, they don't ask. Okay. They don't ask what, they don't ask, you know, they just mm -hmm. deliver from mm -hmm. one point to the mm -hmm. other. No without, ask policy. Yeah. Okay. And uh, they were asked to deliver this two people, one father and, and, and the son. Somehow the father gets killed. Mm-hmm. And that the only child, the child escapes, and he has, she has to deliver him. Mm -hmm. Instead of delivering, he, she now has to protect him. Mm -hmm. so, so it's kind of like pr transporter plus sajushi. <laughs> kind of, or a baby driver, a little bit of baby driver. Right, right. I yeah. mean, yeah, a little bit of everything. Um, but the, you know, car action scene was pretty good. Yeah. And actually, a lot of the car action scenes, the first ten minutes of the movie, right? Mm -hmm. So they actually released first 10 mm -hmm. minutes of the movie on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Ah, I see, I see, I see. Yeah. I mean, I'm really excited because this is a vehicle for Park Sodam. Right. And she's never really done this kind of, I don't know, it, this is pretty action-heavy film. Right. But we don't really think of her as action star because she looks pretty fragile right, right. and vulnerable. But well, she did a great job. She did? And one mm -hmm. thing I noticed was Song sae played a great villain. Uh-huh. He was great, actually. Right. I don't know why he's taking so many roles. I mean, I, I'm, he's really I'm always good. thinking maybe he's a really a bad guy in real life. <laughs> <laughs> what don't you? I mean, have you ever thought about having him for your movie? One of yeah, actually, we're trying to cast him for our next movie. Oh, but that's, that's, that's too awesome. too small, so I don't know whether he's going to do it or not. So I want to I wanna see him more often. Right. He's, a, he's a great actor. And it's also a villain. Right, yeah. Kim Eun Sung, I mean, he is a prototypical villain guy, but he's not. He, he's a good guy here, right? This time. I mean, he's he's part of the delivery guy, part, you know. So I don't know whether you can say he's a good or bad, but mm -hmm. he he is a pr protagonist. Right, right, right. Yeah, I mean, for your uh, for those of you who don't know who Kim Eun Sung is, he's uh he's the bad guy in Busan Heng, Train right. to Busan. I get mistaken for him once in a while. With whom? Kim Eun Sung. Ah, Kim Eun Sung. Yeah. You do? Ah, uh, yeah. If I wear my glasses, <laughs> you don't look like Kim Eun Sung. Well, though. some some people say that actually. <laughs> and we're moving on to our second feature, which is Hollywood production. House of Gucci. House of Gucci. Are you into this famous brand like Gucci? I was when I was in the states because it's cheaper, you know. So I used to buy a lot of stuff. Thanks to my boyfriend, oh. ex-boyfriend, actually. <laughs> but I, I'm I, not really into it anymore. I don't know the difference between Gucci and Chanel. Oh, that's it. too bad, Johnny. Yeah, I, Johnny, I, I, that's too I'm bad. I'm that kind of guy. No, that's uh, that's too primitive. It's it's completely oh. two different things, you know? I know, but... This sorry. shape and this shape. Yeah, but I don't know the difference. <laughs> <laughs> But this is an incredible movie, I have to tell you. I, I saw this at the uh, press, press premiere right. last week, and we were just completely blown away by it, by this movie. But I don't think this is getting good reviews in the States. Well, I really Scott is one of my favorite uh, directors, and I wish I Ridley could live Scott, as, right. as old as he, he is. Mm -hmm. He's 84. 84, right. And he's 
doing this great job, mm -hmm. one after the other. And mm -hmm. uh, I think it's not getting good reviews from the States because the tone of the movie, first half and second half, is quite different. Mm -hmm. And also there's some uh, uh, historical inaccuracy. Mm -hmm. I mean, but that always movie. happens, you know? I know. It's a movie. They dramatize. Right. But I don't understand why yeah. people make, uh, you know, mm -hmm. say stuff about that. Because mm -hmm. they try to make it more in interesting, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. by twisting a little bit. Mm -hmm. It's called dramatization, mm -hmm. guys. I think the Gucci family is trying to sue the film director because, you know, there's some, you know, uh, disturbing things they wouldn't want to see. It. But that's what actually happened, right? <laughs> Tax <laughs> invasion and... Things like that. It's, right. it's just, uh, I mean, it's, it's, more, it's just a fact. more about this couple, you know, Patricia Riga Rigiani. Mm -hmm. played, played by, by Lady, Gaga. Lady Gaga. who was I didn't know she's excellent. Italian. Did you know? She's Italian. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. That's, That's why, why her she took it. so good. Yeah. Right. Ah, uh, and Mauricio Gucci, played by Adam Driver. You mm -hmm. know, Adam Driver, you know, I mean, the, I, I think this movie has a lot of uh, Oscar in all over it. Yeah. I mean, Best actor, best actress, mm -hmm. best supporting actors. Yeah. You know, you, this is totally star studded, and you mm -hmm. have Jeremy Irons as a Rodolfo Gucci. Mm -hmm. And we have you have uh, Al Pacino. Pacino as Aldo Gucci. Mm -hmm. And Jared Leto. Jared Leto is fascinating. Pa Paolo Gucci. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I never really considered Adam Driver as good looking man. <laughs> But when you look at him in this movie, he's just stunning. Right. Especially when you showed up in this beautiful Gucci suit, you know? It's just incredible what Hollywood can do. Well, that's <laughs> Once a, you become a star. Yeah, well, that's the magic of the movie. <laughs> right, right, right. I'd like to see you in a movie one day. <laughs> How different you would be. Ah, uh, That's not going to happen. I hope it will. Well, you though. direct, so you can be in your own movie. Yeah, hopefully. Once my, uh, this short movie that I just finished, if, if it takes off, yeah, that's possible. But anyways, I need, I think peop, you need to check out this movie who, mm -hmm. if you haven't seen it because it's it's actually uh, Ridley Scott. Just watching these mm -hmm. people perform mm -hmm. as an actor is mm -hmm. just incredible. So, And it's, uh, if you are into fashion, there's so many like outfits and handbags right. and stuff. That's That's quite a spectacle too. And the crime drama behind it was quite interesting. Right. It's it's almost like watching a Godfather in a way. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, the Adam Driver, the Maurizio Gucci character is kind of like uh, what Al Pacino played in uh, in Godfather. Ah, right, right. It's sort outsider of. outsider and now yeah. comes in, you know. Sort of, sort of. Yeah. Do you think Will Scott will make more features like this? I hope so. Like, like I big hope ones? So. Yeah, I do hope so. Please go check it out in theater. House of Gucci is an incredible um, character study, I think. Thank you, Jonathan. Thank you, Molly. Be safe. It's cold out. I know. Stay I, warm. I need to wear beanie. <laughs> I'll see you next week. You just listened to weekly premiere. We'll be back with exciting new movie next week. So please come back. <laughs>